Hi, I'm, I'm Steve McGuire. I'm going to tell you about our, uh, our new purging recovery system. I'm going to go through various stages here. First, I'm going to give you an overview of how it works, and then we'll talk about each of the individual uh, operations. Let me open the doors. What we have is a, a box here that we, we can open up and fill with purgings. We close this down. When we start the machine, this will shuttle back and forth. There is, uh, the box has, a, has, has no bottom in it. It's sitting flat on the deck, and the deck is in two different heights. So on one height, it drops off. The, the, the purgings drop. When it's pulled back, those purgings are driven into a, a high-speed uh, a planer, a set of planer blades that take the bottom one inch right off the purgings. Those pieces are driven immediately down below through a chute to a small granulator on the bottom which grinds them up into small parts. Those parts exit here over to this blower and the blower uh, blows the material, the granulate, out to a, uh, a Gaylord on the side. So it's, it's three stages. It's planing, grinding and conveying to a to a uh, a gaylord. Okay, let me talk briefly about the uh, the way we move this uh, this box back and forth. We have what we call an air over oil system. We have a hydraulic cylinder back here full of oil, and we have two cylinders here that are reser re reservoirs that are half full of oil, and we place air pressure on those on those uh, reserve reservoirs, and we. In, in one direction, we drive the oil down on that reservoir, and we cause the cylinder to push the box this way. But it's oil that's moving the box that's in this cylinder. And then in the other direction, we reverse the airflow. And the reason we use oil is that we get a very uniform, steady, controlled movement, which you would not get with air. But the reason we use air is that we don't want to include a a uh, a hydraulic pump, which is unnecessary in this case. We're only using the oil to control the flow, the movement of the box very, very, very carefully so we get nice uniform feeding over this, over this, uh, over our planer blade. Uh, one other feature is uh, of this system is that the way we reverse is that when the box reaches the end, because it's up against a hard stop, the air pressure driving it begins to rise in pressure. It may take 20 or 30 pounds of air pressure to move it, but when it stops, that pressure will rise to a full air pressure to 100 pounds, let's say. So we have a pressure switch that detects that rise and automatically switches the direction. Then it goes to this direction. When it runs against a hard stop here, that's the signal to reverse direction. The benefit, the extra benefit of this, besides being an extremely simple uh, way to uh, go back and forth, is that if there is a jam for some reason, it, 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 it's, it's cutting plastic and something wedges somewhere and it causes it to stop, the system automatically reverses and clears the jam. So you're never coming back over wondering why it's jammed in some stuck position. This is an automatic unjamming system. So that, that's, a, that's a nice feature. All right, I want to talk about, uh, basically go over the simple operation of this unit. Uh, first, I'm I'll take some purging sample. I'm going to open up the uh, open up the lid. This is counterbalanced so that it's not heavy. Purgings are going to drop in here. Now I would imagine that what you would do is you would fill this up throughout the day um, and, not, and not run it. And it doesn't matter how big the purgings are as long as they fit in the box. That fit. It could be a solid block of plastic. The, this unit doesn't care. It'll, it'll, take, it'll plane it off, no problem. So I've got them in there. Now up here is a follower plate, which is being held up right now by, by air pressure, because I have air connected to it, so it's held up. And when I bring this down, uh, and when the unit starts, that air pressure will release, and that, unit, that plate will drop on top of the purgings and hold them down to the bottom so that they are cut correctly. There is also a, a 
limit switch in the back here. When these, these bars, this is the air cylinder holding it, the plate up. These bars are aligning it so it goes down square. When it gets to the bottom, this ring, which is a stop, will also hit a switch in the back, which you can't see, which is right behind this. And that'll just sound the alarm, uh, turn on a strobe light, so you can see that the unit has reached the bottom and that everything is, is cut up. All right, I'd like to talk about clean out, so that if you, if you, if you want to change materials, for instance, resins, you'll want to clean the one out before doing the other. The first thing we're going to do is remove this, this part here, which is held on with two latches. This drops away. This, this is the part that connects to the blower, pulling the material to the blower. We have a flip latch here. Swing this out of the way. We pull this chute out for clean out. This gives us access to the cutting chamber of the small grinder underneath. We have a, the ring, the uh, screen um, is removable, so you have access to the blades, access to the entire chamber, and access to the screen if you want to clean that. Okay, I want to talk about the, uh, the box a little bit here. Uh, th this, is, this is the part of the machine that takes the most abuse because the blades are cutting and throwing plastic, uh, possibly throwing heavy plastic against the sides. So we've constructed these end plates out of half inch steel plate. The side plates are quarter inch steel plate. You notice that there are, that these, this is a two different levels, which you can tell, tell here, this is a one inch thick here and two inches deep here. This is an inch lower. Here in the middle is the rotating set of cutters which um, can rotate for you. There are eight individual blades on there, two bolts holding each blade on, easy to replace if they get damaged. The blades look like this. Uh, there are no bed knives. Basically, these blades are turning so fast, and this, this cutting angle is so aggressive that it just shaves material right off the plastic part without actually uh, shearing. Much the same way as a uh, wood planer does. We simply do it with speed. And the box, obviously, when it's pushing material that way, that's the cutting direction where we take an inch off the bottom of the pile. You see the lid, you see the close up of the follower plate, which will drop down. This is polypropylene, can take a lot of impact, and, and it simply keeps the pile down low and makes sure that it engages the cutting blades as it's spinning. Okay, I just want to go over briefly the, the operation. It's very simple. We have a power, turn the power on, which would normally be on all the time. You'll notice that it's three phase, uh, 480 volts. That's the standard that we sell, three phase, 480 for the motors. We have, 100, uh, we have an air pressure connection here, actually 80 PSI is what we set it to. It's not critical, but uh, that's a reason. We don't use too much air. It's reasonable pressure. The startup is to make sure the emergency stop button is out. We're going to start the blower, the grinder, the shredder, and the shuttle in that order. Uh, each one has to be on before the other will operate. Blower, grinder, shredder. We're going to set the timer for 10 minutes, what we think it might take to do the batch. Start the shuttle. The shuttle is now moving back and forth. These knobs control the speed. I'm not going to touch them, but we could make it move faster by opening these up, and we could make it move slower, a uh, faster, faster cut speed and a faster or slower non-cut speed this way. When the, when the timer times out, the shuttle will return to the home position. Well then, shut everything off. One other thing I didn't mention is the alarm. The, the strobe light will flash when the follower plate reaches the bottom so that you will have an indication that you have basically finished.